Hello everyone, Desert Gardener here, and today got a couple of quick tomato tips. So it's the middle of May and tomatoes are doing pretty well, so I thought it was a good time for a couple of common tomato questions. The first one is, should you cut off the sucker stems? Now if you're not sure what that is, um, when you have a stem on a tomato plant or the main stem and you have a branch, there's sometimes a little stem that comes out right in the middle. And this is called a sucker stem. Now there are a lot of people that recommend that you cut these off. Now is that a good idea? Well, it kind of depends on where you live. If you live someplace cold and you have a short growing season, then yes, that can be helpful because it'll cause the tomato to flower and fruit more quickly. But for everyone else who has a long growing season, it doesn't help at all. It'll, in fact, um, those stems will actually eventually flower and fruit. So all you're really doing is lowering the total harvest from that plant. So it's a lot of work for no reason at all. So unless you live someplace cold, don't do it. Now the next thing I thought I'd cover is I often hear people talk about dissolving aspirin in water and then sprinkling it on the plants. Now, this does have an effect. What it does is it tricks the plant into thinking it's being attacked, either by fungus or uh, diseases or insects or something like that. So it then creates, uh, it boosts its defense against those things. So if you live in an area where that's commonplace, then that might be a good idea to do. However, I live in the desert and those aren't really issues I have much problem with. So if you do that to your plant, what will happen is the plant will then expend energy to putting up those defenses rather than spending the energy for flowering and fruiting. So it could lower the total harvest from those plants. I'm not entirely sure, but I decided to test it a little bit. I've got four tomato plants right here, and I've got uh, a gallon of water and about 400 milligrams of aspirin in it. And I'm gonna sprinkle it on these plants, but I've got more plants over there and more plants behind me, about 20 in total, that I'm not gonna do that to. So I'm gonna do it just to these, and I'm gonna see if there's any real difference. And thanks to modern ed editing, I'll be back in a few seconds with the results. So it's been about a month and all four plants seem to be doing pretty well. Now I had read that the, uh, it would make the uh, leaves sort of thick and leathery, but I don't know, everything seems to look pretty normal to me. I did see some leaf curl the day after I did it, uh, but that seemed to have cleared itself up pretty well. I did notice that there was a growth spurt though. For the week after I put the aspirin on, these plants sprouted up a good foot or foot and a half, way more than the uh, plants in the other parts of the garden had done. So it made me wonder if the aspirin had something to do with that. But they, all, they do seem to be looking pretty well. However, you may notice that there really isn't any uh, fruit on these plants. Uh, the ones in the other parts of the garden have been uh, flowering and fruiting quite well. Now this one has uh, just a few tiny green cherry tomatoes on it, uh, but I've been harvesting from the other plants for uh, three to four weeks now. So it makes me wonder if I was right and that it, it may slow the uh, flowering and fruiting. So Again, there's only four plants here, so it's not a big sample size, so it doesn't really prove anything. But I do think that if you live someplace where um, uh, disease and fungus is a big problem for you, then adding a little uh, aspirin might be a good idea. But if you live someplace in the desert like I do, where that's really not a big problem, I would probably not do it as it may lower the uh, production that you get. So. 
Yeah, if you got anything out of this, all I ask is you hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, uh, you'll have to subscribe. I'm planning on a new uh, tasting video for 2024. What are the best tasting tomatoes and peppers that I've grown this year? So, I'll see you in the next one.